Peace and blessings, collective. In this video, we're going to be discussing how you can lessen your menstrual cramps or entirely get rid of them. So if this is something that you're interested in, stay tuned. So welcome back to the red tent in this video as I discussed earlier we are going to be talking about menstrual cramps and how you can get rid of completely your menstrual cramps now I'm telling you this from my own experience I am a woman who has suffered with PCOS or used to suffer with PCOS prior to me having my daughter and as of recently I begin some new tips and tricks that I'm getting ready to share with you guys and these things have really helped me to get rid of menstrual cramps so the first thing we're going to talk about what the heck is a menstrual cramp so a menstrual cramp is actually the uterus contracting in order for it to release the lining that it is shedding because you did not get pregnant and so while this may seem like duh Hadida we already know what a menstrual cramp is I think it's really important for us to revisit what a menstrual cramp is in order for us to figure out how to heal it so what I want to suggest to you and my first tip that I'm going to suggest to you is yoni steaming. If you have not already, I encourage you to begin to yoni steam a week prior to when you know that your cycle is due. What this is going to do is this is going to allow you to begin to loosen up the lining of the uterus and begin to help it to be a little bit easier for the body to shed that uterine lining when your menstrual cycle comes on. So prior to yoni steaming, I want you to put a little bit of oil down in your hand. I want you to rub your palms together. I want you to measure two inches down from your womb by making a C with your fingers. And I want you to place that over top of your thumb over top of your belly button and your index finger. Where your index finger lies is where your womb is. Approximately two inches underneath your belly button. And you're gonna rub in clockwise motions you're going to rub the womb okay and what this womb massage is going to do is it is going to help to loosen up some of the physical blockages that are there in the womb as well as some of the energetic blockages that may be there such as anxiety such as depression such as sadness Whatever it is that you may be experiencing, it's going to help to loosen that up. Another tip that you can use when you are yoni steaming is that you can actually take a hot compress or a hot bottle, put it over top of your womb. And so when you're massaging, you're going to really help to loosen the linings that's up in the uterus as well by doing a hot compress on the womb and then the massage. So if you don't want to just do the massage by itself, put that oil on the womb, place your hot water bottle or your hot towel over top, and then give yourself a real good womb massage. The second thing that I began to do when I started to heal myself from menstrual cramps was I began to switch all of my products that I use for my menstrual cycle. Hey, did you go and make sure that you subscribe to the channel? Because if not, don't forget to push that subscribe and notification bell, okay? Because I need you to be making sure you up to date with each and every time I release a video. Love you. I used to be a person that, like I said, I had PCOS. So I bled really heavy during my cycles. And they were really long, like 14 and 15 days worth of bleeding. Half the freaking month, I was on my cycle. So what I began to do and what I noticed made a drastic difference, and I hear women all over the world talking about this, is I changed all of my menstrual products. I no longer use disposable menstrual pads. I was never really a tampon woman. But I no longer use disposable pads. And instead of the disposable pads, I switched to cloth pads as well as the menstrual cup. The menstrual cup allows the body to release that lining from the uterus and kind of hold the excrements from the womb in the cup. And then you just pull it out and you dump it out, rinse it out, and insert it back in. But your body is no longer absorbing all of the toxins from the menstrual pads and from your tampons. So if you're experiencing cramps, I urge you to switch from disposable pads to cloth pads. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably like, oh my God, I can't deal with the blood. Oh my God, I don't want to see that. That's so disgusting, sis. 
I'm trying to tell you and I'm trying to help you change those disposable pads to a pad that is cloth and that's made out of cotton, that's made out of flannel, that's made, I mean, they have so many different ones out here that you can use. They are super duper comfortable. Put that bad boy in your underwear if you are not a tampon or menstrual cup user. Put that bad boy in your underwear, and I'm telling you, you will notice an immense difference between your cycle before you were using disposable pads and after when you switch to a more natural form of perioding. The third thing that I began to do when I was trying to heal myself from menstrual cramps was I began to massage my womb each and every single morning before I get out of bed. So I would take a little bit of about a quarter size of grapeseed oil, castor oil, or olive oil. You can use either three. I suggest castor oil to all my women, but if you do not have castor oil, you can use one of the three, grapeseed, olive, or caster okay you're going to take a little bit of that you're going to lay back while you're still in bed put your knees up so that they're bent and then you're going to give yourself a nice gentle clockwise motion massage okay so you want to do this when you're yoni steaming but you also want to do this every morning because this is kind of helping the womb to relieve itself of the lining if you're helping your body to release the lining that's there then it does not have to contract so hard in the uterus in order for it to push the lining out so we want to aid our bodies in releasing this lining from the uterus and the way that we can do that is we can begin to do womb massage in the mornings every morning when we're still laying in bed when we're still in a relaxed state just give yourself a real nice womb massage with some oil lay that bad boy next to your bed and you can utilize it every single morning before you even get out. And then the fourth thing that I want to suggest to you, I believe I said it a little bit earlier, but I just want to reiterate the importance of putting hot compresses on the womb. So I know I talked about it when we were talking about womb massage, but if you are dealing with cramps on your cycle and you aren't doing womb massage or you aren't doing yoni steaming at the moment, just take yourself a hot water bottle or a hot towel, lay back in your bed, become really relaxed, dim down all the lights that you have in your room, and light some incense, put on some nice flickering candles, and give yourself a nice hot compress to your womb. It's going to help to relieve that contracting that's happening in the womb. And it's going to help to really relieve the cramping that's happening in the uterus and that's happening in the uterine walls. So I hope you guys have found this video to be helpful. If you have, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Tell me some of the ways down below in the comment box. What are some of the ways that you guys have been helping to relieve your menstrual cramps? I want this to be an open discussion between myself and you guys. So I'm looking forward to hearing from your comments. I love you guys and I want to say peace.